Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and the next episode in our home renovation series. This is a very, very exciting instalment, for me at least, because Clever Closet are coming to install some amazing understairs storage for us to sort out this disaster area, which, if I'm honest, at the moment is just a bit of a mishmash dumping ground. So I'm hoping by the end of this video, it will go from chaos too organized under our stairs. If you've been following along our journey, you'll know that this whole house has been a top to bottom renovation project. We have tackled every room and put on an extension. And I really feel like this under the stairs area has been letting down the house for quite some time. It is the entrance to the house. It's where everything gets dumped and we're just not maximizing the space. So by having properly fitted and installed doors and drawers, I'm hoping that all of this mess will not just be organized but hidden. So before I very quickly empty all of the nightmare that is under the stairs and dump it in the lounge, I guess, because Clever Closet are on the way to do the installation, which they're not gonna be able to do with all that junk in the way. I just wanna say, if you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do lots of renovation and organization content, vlogs, speed cleans, hauls, all that kind of thing. I hope you will love it. Now, enough yapping from me. I am going to clear this under the stairs area and make some space for our new units to be installed. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the Broken. How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. That's the under the stairs, clean and clear. It sounds really echoey in here because I took up the rugs, just wanted to make sure that nothing was getting in the way. I've given it a little wipe over under there and seriously, like I don't even want to look at what's on that cloth, it's disgusting. So we're all ready. We are ready for the Clever Closet transformation and I don't know, is this sad or not, but I am bonkers excited. What is less exciting, however, gonna have to show you what's in here. The problem is all the stuff that was under the stairs is now here. Look at the state on the rest of the house. So once the, back into the echo, once the clever closet transformation is complete, I'm gonna have to do a lot of decluttering because I'm sure we don't need all that stuff and organizing all those things into the new homes. I'm gonna send my husband to move the cars off the drive because the engineer that's coming out is gonna set up, I believe, a little tent canopy thing outside so he can do all the cutting outside. Apparently, it's all gonna be done in less than a day. So I'll be quite impressed with that because it does seem like quite a big job. And obviously, you know, COVID restrictions and things at the moment, what I'm gonna do, I will, I wanna capture a little bit of footage of it all going in. So I'm gonna set up my GoPro in here um, so I don't have to physically be in here filming while they're putting it all in. And then when it's all done, I will come back in and chat you through what it all is and have a little look at oh, what's been done. It's so exciting. So the clever closet engineer came and in all fairness, he knocked the door, stepped right back 
and then he asked me some questions he had to say um, is there anyone isolating at the property and had to check all that he asked if anyone was due to visit or arrive that doesn't live here and I confirmed no and he said well if anyone does then I won't be able to let them in while I'm working here and that's I said like that's absolutely fine and then he said look if you need to get past me in the hallway at all, let me know and I'll just go outside. He said he's got about an hour of cutting and sort of sawing things or whatever to do outside before he needs to come back in and actually start the installation. And it's a nice dry day, so he's not gonna need to put his canopy up today. But so far, I'm really, really pleased. Uh, Clever Closet have been really great to deal with. They've got lots of options on their website to suit whatever your understairs looks like. So we are having three drawers and two doors. I'll show you when it's in, obviously. Um, but there are lots of different options depending on how much gap you've got under your stairs, whether your stairs turn or whether they're straight. And they've been really, really helpful with making the decision as to which one's best for our home. Clever Closet have installed more than 50,000 understairs storage units to date. Installations take just one day, so this should all be done and dusted by the end of today. They offer a two year guarantee and payment options too, plus free quotation. So just take a look at their website, which I shall link below and see which option might be best for your home. I've been trying my best for a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with new Yeah I'm on my way now It's finished. Ah! I am beyond thrilled and beyond just, I can't tell you how happy I am. Uh, Nigel, the engineer that came to fit it all, was a dream. I spoke to him obviously like outside from two meter distance and he was fantastic with masks and sanitizing and just all that thing made us feel really, really safe and just did such a wonderful job of fitting it all. Now, there is a little bit of wet paint on it so I'm not actually going to fill it up tonight. So I've made the decision to just leave it overnight, just in case I muck anything, because I just want it all to kind of set. There are certain bits that have got glue as well as the, um, the sort of carpentry aspect. So just to be on the safe side, I mean, I don't know if, <laughs> I think I'm probably just erring on the side of caution, but I just think leave it till tomorrow and then I know that I can kind of confidently fill it without worrying about kind of disturbing things. And plus, to be honest, it's been a long day. I've been up since 10 past four this morning, so, I'm not sure I can face the mess that is facing me in the dining room. So I think I'm gonna tackle it tomorrow in the morning. So stay tuned because I will be disappearing and coming back in the morning in this very vlog. But look, I just wanna show you very briefly, look how stunning it is. I can't show you inside because obviously they're not gonna touch it. So we will show you the inside in the morning. Morning everybody, it is the very next day and I am preparing to organize all of these under the stairs units, which I can't wait to get done. Partly because, look at the mess of my house, I've got all of this shoe rubbish all over the laundry area. My living room looks like this. And then there's all of this stuff in my dining room. Look at that. What a mess. What a mess. I'm gonna clean the floor and then inside these units just to make sure I'm putting everything into clean space and then I'm going to fill them. Oh, but first, should we have a little look? Should we have a little look at them empty and then at the end, we'll have a little tour of how I filled them. Let's take a look inside the units. So the doors are sprung like this and really quite easy to open. All of these hooks were the ones that we had anyway i think i might still utilize those i do need my husband to get a really low down one for zara because she can't even reach that because she's so very short 
But the main coat storage now can go across here and I'm going to put coats on hangers across there and then just maybe one coat each for the little ones so they don't have to reach into the hanging space. But our longer coats, my husband's coats, my coats can go on hangers. In here, I'm going to put welly trays on the floor so they can catch all the bits of mud and things and I want to store the vacuum cleaner in here and I think I'm going to get my husband to fix or maybe I use command hook I don't know the um the handheld vacuum cleaner that he's charging to this but that might not be a job for today anyway that just needs a little bit of cleaning out on the floor uh, just to make sure that it's done now these drawers are super cool we've actually got a wine rack in this one and in this one too whether i'll use it all for wine or whether i'll use it as like another shelf for shoe storage because like zara's little shoes could fit under there and then we could use that as a separate one don't know yet we'll have to see just close that one they feel really lovely and smooth this one is more like a squared off drawer so i think what i need to do now is just get the floor clean get the coats in then figure out how best to utilize these drawers to maximize the space watch me under the light so keep me in your cuz i can do this all the cupboards and drawers filled and organized under the stairs and I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I've done. Starting up with this tall cupboard which opens with a little spring. I have got coats on hangers, some more coats on the hooks that were already on the wall and then I've got the vacuum cleaner and on these trays because the wellies are very muddy and I'm hoping that will collect most of the mud so I can easily pull them out, clean it and put it back. I've got wellies and welly bags. Over to the big drawers. So these little triangles, they're just kind of dummy panels. Um, so it's these one, two, three that are actual drawers. The top one has got a wine rack. Now, I could actually utilize this for other things, which I'll show you in the other drawer, but obviously it is perfect for storing wine. It doesn't rattle around and things. I've popped these little baskets in here for things that we'll need when leaving the house because the children's school bags aren't actually stored under the stairs. They are stored in the unit by the front door and they have a box each just for school bags. So all this is kind of the other bits and pieces. So at the moment, sadly, we need masks whenever we leave the house. These are various sunglasses and things for the children. 
and these are hats and gloves. Then at the back, I've got some sanitizing wipes and some packs of tissues in those little pockets. And then these little baskets have got the little wet bags to store dirty masks in. So I'm just popping those on that little shelf thing back there. So closing that one, and that is very smooth, even though it's actually chock full of wine. And then in here, we've got another wine rack under here, as you can see, but I've actually got Daddy of Four's loads of different identical boots in slightly different colors and then underneath here so i've used this wine rack as more like a shoe shelf i've got some of my shoes and some of my flip-flops i've actually space for another pair of shoes over there so i shall add to that and then in this one i've separated it out with these little baskets because again it'll be easier to pull them all out in order to like clean them out from like mud and just bits of yuck. Um, and also I feel like if I haven't sectioned this off, it might just be like a whole mess of shoes. So I don't know how, if you can tell, but it, this is probably a lot tidier than it would be if I hadn't sectioned them out into little baskets. There was an option with Clever Closet to have shoe rails across here, but lots of our shoes are obviously quite diddy and don't have heels on them so we figured that this was a better option so if you've got just like a lot of adult shoes you want to store then the shoe rails would probably work really well if like us you've got about a million pairs of kiddie shoes then you might be better off with like just the space and section it off with things like these little buckets like i have done so that is how i have organized the inside of these units and i'm genuinely thrilled so thank you so much to Clever Closet. The whole process from dealing with them to installation has been an absolute dream and I'm absolutely thrilled with the finished product. Like genuinely over the moon thrilled. So if you are interested in having something similar for your home, you can just check out their details below and just get in touch with them for a free, no obligation quotation. And you can just discuss how this would work in your home. Thank you so much for watching. If you have liked this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. My latest video is here. And another video that you may enjoy from my channel is just down here. See you guys soon. Bye.